as I was trying to get footage for the Shenyang F5, I was, yeah, I noticed I wasn't very good at the plane, so I'm postponing the video for now. So I went back to the 190A8. I have a talisman on this thing. This is my first RB prop, all in War Thunder, and I still go back to it sometimes. I just have a talisman on it, so I decided to grind the G91R3 in the process because I still need that thing, and you know. I like this thing, it's not the best, it's uh, actually pretty, like, pretty bad. It's doable, but the only saving grace of this thing is the roll rate and the guns. And everyone knows that your roll rate is good, so people don't really try to sizzle with you to begin with. And people don't try to head on you, because, well, they know you have four MG151s. So it's a bit of a pickle. Good thing this thing has an airspawn, and that's also the reason I run Minfuel. Normally I don't run min fuel when it's below 20 minutes in any kind of prop, but in the 190A8 I try to I get every little ounce of energy out of this plane that I can get. Because quite frankly, it's just it's just a brick. In my opinion, the 4.3 190A4 is better than this thing, but you know the the gun on this is a bit nicer and it, the damage model is a bit better as well. Of course you do get set on fire quite often when you get hit in this thing which is kind of unfortunate but that is what it is and you know it's still it's kind of nostalgic for me it's, uh, the 190A8 is uh, what I learned to fly in and not just in War Thunder also in uh, IO2 Stumovic which I've been playing for a very long time I kind of burned out from it as well I played it so much I've been playing that game since I'm like seven years old and I always went back to this thing the 190A8 and the Kia 84 was the IC in that uh, game, but over here it's called the EA or the EA, I don't know how to, to pronounce it. But the 6.3 one with the 30 mils. And those are still the planes that I keep falling back on. I think it's just a nostalgic factor. factor. I just enjoy them. They're not the best, but they're a nice challenge and they're not completely hopeless. Although this thing at times is kind of hopeless. <laughs> it's not very fast, the turn rate is quite poor, the flaps are very good nowadays, which is nice, because before the flaps used to be very, very poor, or the turn rate in general, and now with the flaps, when you drop them, you actually get quite a bit of like, a turn rate improvement, which is nice. Another problem of this thing is the rudder, like above 500, 550, I'm not too sure what speed it is, because you know, you never go fast enough to, for it to lock up anyway, but it does lock up at certain speeds. I would go for the gameplay. I go for the Spitfire first because he will pose the most threat in the long run. I'm already on the P51. I can turn fight him. I just don't get the shot. I figured I shoot anyway. And I'm gonna see him get the shot right here. And I just nick him and I blow him up. And that's uh, me cleaning uh, Reaper still. Too bad he's uh, in the ground. Still plenty of ammo left. And I see a. Uh, 826. I wasn't expecting to actually kill him here because 826 are very, very tanky. And for some reason, I, I think I just sniped his pilot out to be honest. But it's whatever, he died, and that's always nice. Then F6F, and I see a P47, and I have a feeling that the P47 actually is going to kill those two guys. So what I want to do is go over there first. And that's the first one that dies, and then I notice it's a P47N. I think he's on fire, and yes, there he goes. He probably went head on with him, and he, he burned up. The F6F behind me crashes as well. And now it's a bit of uh, trying to look for the last guy. And the IL-2s are right next to me, so they're very tempting indeed. And then I notice that one of the P47s is uh, ground pounding. So I'm trying to look on the horizon as I'm uh, taking care of uh, this uh, objective, so to speak. <coughs> I'm just gonna look around and try to find the P47. I have no idea where he is at this point. I know there's some places where he could be, so that's where I'm looking. Because on the behind, there's a group of uh, vehicles and AA. But now I see the dog. And again, I'm not sure if you can actually see it on uh, on YouTube, but there he is. I don't want to uh, commit too much to the to IL-2s because they have no value whatsoever. I'd rather kill the players and win that way. B25 and a P47 and I have a feeling that the B25 is actually going to rush me and there comes a spray holy shit 
I have a feeling that the B25 is going to attack team me with the P47. Luckily for me, the P47 decides to turn with me and then does the dumbest thing he could have done, and that's turned towards his B25. Doing this makes the B25 very little chance to actually shoot me. I will just go rolling around. He's a very little chance of hitting me. He does nick me with a few rounds, but it's nothing special. And now as the B25 is flying away from me, I can easily just kill the P47. He was vaped way too slow. He could have just turned into me. He could have tried to go up and stall me out. And if I had followed, the B25 would have killed me. And if I hadn't followed, he would have been able to drop right on top of me. I'm still going 400, which is in my eyes enough to have head on this guy. Shoot a little bit above him. Draw a line in case I miss and I blow his wing off. Careful that he doesn't kill me as he's trying to shoot. Or as he's shooting with one wing. And that's 7. And I was uh, quite content at this point. I was hoping that I could maybe kill a P-51 over there as well. But uh, it looks like he is uh, running back to his base. And he looks to be running right at me. So you know, I already got 7. I've never got an 8 in this thing. So I thought it was time to, to change that. And I stuck the head on a lot longer than I normally do. And I dodge and he takes both my wing off. Which is uh, kind of unfortunate, you know. But it's 8. I'm gonna go with 8 into the A8. And that's a new racket for me. So I'm kind of satisfied with that. And the game after that, or not the game after that, was the day after that. I'm gonna show that in a second. There you go, splash, I'm dead. Hostel has lost all vehicles. Uh, there's one problem with this thing, and people uh, people fly out the, the US one as well. And the problem with the US one is, they're mostly premiums, they see a 190 on the, the same altitude. So they think, oh, I'm gonna go for him, it's the same plane, he doesn't have any advantages, we're on the same altitude. And they mostly focus you. It's really odd, because I really hate fighting the same plane, so I mostly don't try to focus them down. But, you know, that's just me. So at this point I'm just trying to separate him from the pack. Because the P-51 was tailing me as well, and I wanted one of them to break off. I wasn't expecting the 190 to break off, so I'm glad that the P-51 is gone now. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to turn into him, and mostly going to be paying attention to his guns, because I don't want to get in that gun sight for even a second. And what I'm going to do here is cut my throttle, drop my flaps, because a lot of 190s, especially if you're like in the same plane, they try to throttle drop you, and I'm just going to do it before him. There I missed because I rolled, otherwise I might have gotten the shot with the wing cannons. Set him on fire. And I know that the 190A8, mostly when it gets set on fire, you'll see that in the last uh, game as well, they don't actually die. They will burn up, they will uh, lose all their fuel. But 190 with its wings and the 420 mils it has, it might not have fuel, it still has guns and I don't want to fly near them. So now I'm just going to fly away from him, he actually burned up. A surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. And now we get a Spitfire, which I'm actually a bit scared of. It's a Mark 5C, which is kind of a problem, I thought it was going to turn into me and I'm going to die there, but no. He actually... He tries to boom and zoom me and flies straight. I'm not too sure what this idea was of that engagement, but you know, I didn't die. He gave me a kill. That's more RP for me. The G91 R3 gets closer and closer. At this point I already have it. So that's uh, that's nice. And I'm not sure how to make a video on that. I already did one on the R1, which is essentially the same plane. Uh, but it doesn't have 30 mils, so that's the only difference. So if you care for that, you might want to check that one out. And if no one cares about the G91 R3, just let me down and know in the comments. Because I don't really feel like flying it, since I already have 900 kills in the other one. But you know, and it's going to be up to you. I can do a video on it just fine, it's not a problem. I think I already got some footage, but it's going to be up to you. If, you, if no one cares about it, then I'm not going to bother with it. So this is uh, quite a while ago, I think this is more than a year ago. Uh, still in clan actually, so it's at least uh, last November, which yeah, is almost a year ago. And uh, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to rush in and I'm not going to climb too steep. I'm going to climb in a very shallow angle so I get above them, but also get there as soon as I can because I don't know climb them. But I can use my uh, air spawn to get above them like this and then I get some sparks unfortunately. I have a lot more speed than him, so I'll just extend away. 
And the thing is, like, it doesn't climb nearly well enough to get above people. But the climb rate of the, well, with the S-Pawn, it helps. So what I try to do is kind of rush in instead of stall climbing. Well, not stall climbing, but climbing at your optimal speed. Because the longer it takes, the more advantage they will get. So what I try to do is rush in at like 310, 300 kph. And that way I will reach their end of the map earlier. So they will be relatively lower. And you need every ounce of advantage you can get in this plane. Because it's just not very good. People try to dodge a head on. That's not really going to work. And he's going to... I don't know what he's doing. He's flying straight. He sees that I'm shooting and he just doesn't move. And that's the strength of this plane. You want to rush in. You want to be there in the thick of it. The longer the game lasts, the bigger your disadvantage becomes. Like you just want to be as fast as you can. You want to be as aggressive as you can. And if you notice that you can't do it, like I had the game before this one, where I'm rushing in and it's a 190 A8 on my altitude. I'm not going to try to head on him because I'm going to be way too slow. Even if I'm going to dive to get some speed to dodge his head on, I'm going to be too low and I'm going to get swarmed by his team. So neither of those are a good option. So what I do then instead is just fly away. Goodbye. And these guns hit like trucks. And they, they did back then and they still do. This wasn't really the most requested plane in my uh, request list. But you know, I had a lot of fun on this thing. I got an 8 kill game, so you know the rules. I have to make a video on it. I was trying to grind the G91R3, which I got some footage on as well. So let me know in the comments if you actually care about that plane whatsoever. And otherwise, I'm just not going to bother with it. I'm going to try to fly the, the F5 and get a decent review out of that. I only got one uh, decent game so far, which is only like 7 minutes of footage. So I don't think that's enough. So I'm going to be working on that. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do next week. Uh, but I expect something in the in the weekend. And um, well, as always, feedback is very much appreciated. I'm going to be logging off. I'll see you next week. And I hope you enjoyed it.